Hi, and welcome to the third and final library tutorial for Honors 110. This week we're going to be talking about your sources of consequence assignment, and we're going to show you how to use and interpret results on the Web of Science database. So Web of Science is a really cool database. It has some powerful uh, search features that many other databases don't have, uh, most notably the time cited feature. Uh, and so we'll walk you through not only how to use the database, but how to interpret the results based off of that feature. Um, we'll also give you some strategies on what to do if Web of Science just isn't working out for your topic. The name can be a little deceptive, but Web of Science has lots of content in the social sciences and the arts and humanities. So don't worry if you don't have a, like a science topic, you'll, you'll be able to use it likely. Um, and so just remember that you can always reach out if you have questions or concerns. Um, once again, my name is Moya and you'll have my contact information as well as how to get in touch with subject librarians at the end of this module. Good luck this week.